after software mogul turned politician Antar Su was chosen as the nominee for the People's Party, a former interim leader of the Democratic Party threw his hat in the ring as an independent. For more on the shifting dynamics in the race to the May 9th presidential election, here's our easy one. Kim Jong-in, the former interim leader of the Democratic Party of Korea, has announced a bid for the Korean presidency as an independent candidate. At a press conference on Wednesday, he said though he doesn't have the backing of any political party, he hopes to win the support of the people. He pledged to overcome the national crisis and reinvigorate the country with an integrated government that brings together the capabilities of all political parties. A presidential bid by Kim has been widely expected since he left the Democratic Party in early March. Contenders in the May 9th election now number at least eight, including the candidates from Korea's five major political parties plus two other independents. The People's Party is going with its former leader An Chul-soo and the Democratic Party of Korea with its former leader Bun Jae-in. The Liberty Korea Party, which was in power under former President Park Geun-hye, has chosen Gyeongsangnam-do Province Governor Hong Jun-pyo to lead its ticket, while the Splinter Paren Party nominated lawmaker Yoo Seung-min. The minor left-wing Justice Party chose its leader Shim Sang-jung back in February. The polls show Moon with a comfortable lead over his rivals. He's in the 30 percent range, while An, his closest rival, hasn't broken through 20 percent. And with Moon so far ahead of everyone else, there's growing speculation that An, Yu, and Hong could merge their campaigns. But some say An would be unlikely to join forces with the others because he's vowed to fight to the end, opposing any sort of alignment based on political calculations. Pundits also say that political heavyweight Kim Jong-in's bid could shake up the race as well. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.